yo 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 what's going on everyone it's tk and i'm back with another video so we're gonna dive in today and see which abilities and epic abilities you need to upgrade first in your priority list so let's dive in and see which ones they are okay we have the hero equipment tab already opened up for us and guys we got four epic equipments let me actually put all of them in so we got these three and of course we got these four all together now guys i really want to do this video because i know a lot of you don't really have an idea of which one to upgrade because of the strategy you use you may just use rouge fighter spam but a lot of you may not use that strategy right now and you are just having fun with the game and this video is basically for you so let's start with the most important one which is going to be used in every single one of the strategies and that is the king's gauntlet the moment you have this ability bought from the store you need to get it to level 27 but there is a but guys if you are using a strategies like let's say queen chart let's say a smash style strategy with that wardown walk at the beginning which you could use the fireball you can leave out the king's gauntlet to level around 21 or even 25 these are the levels there won't be a really difference between the you know 27 and the 25 you're already going to get an insane amount of value but you are focusing on other abilities as well to get them both upgraded i know for a free to play player is a tough thing to do to upgrade all of these epic abilities to level 27 and as you can see i got the ores but i'm not upgrading this fireball just yet because we may get new abilities in the future and i can bring you those videos so by the way make sure you subscribe and you are tuned in in those videos but let's go back now if you're using queen charge attacks guys the queen charge attacks are going to take down this frozen arrow the frozen arrow is an insane insane equipment because if, even for those who don't usually queen charge often you actually get more freedom with the frozen arrow if you're diving into a single inferno or a scattershot expo multiple amount of damage the queen can actually keep on surviving if you drop the rage a bit late because she's slowing down the defenses this would be already the second ability i would suggest to upgrade after the king's gauntlet but don't forget as i mentioned you don't need the king's gauntlet to level 27 the other abilities like the frozen arrow and the fireball get those to level 27 notice what i said the king's gauntlet is amazing at level 27 but you don't necessarily need to have it if you are using multiple epic equipments in your army and that means not a lot of people use the frozen arrow some people like this combination and this means they're doing either a spam dragon attack or sometimes a sui attack and these are where the queen may be on the outside may just be on the first layer and the healers could come up handy and that means again they don't use that warden fireball they are either using a book of heal just like now like this and this basically brings them down to only one equip epic equipment in their army which is the gauntlet this means you can definitely go ahead and max it out to level 27 but as i said if you are doing a queen charge as i said on the before like i believe on the channel we made a video of it the cro the frozen arrow with the queen charge is an amazing combination so that's why you want this frozen arrow to level 27 you will notice the difference look how slow the expo is hitting the queen look how slow that is honestly that's like an archer tower hitting the queen she's not losing any hp with this frozen arrow when doing the queen charge on hard hitting areas but moving on these are going to be your two first equipments now depending as i said on the army you use if it's a smash if it's a spam or if it's dragons or some very technical armies or like lolo you have to then switch up with the warden equipment i'm gonna do a separated video for the queen's equipment and the warden equipment on those attacks as i did with the king and the royal champion but my personal suggestion is if you are doing a lolo attack this would be the best warden equipment but if you're doing those smash style armies with the early fireball you are going to have the fireball upgraded even before the frozen arrow because in a smash attack 
you are going to indeed take the healers as i said we're gonna do a video on that later on in the channel so make sure you stay tuned but this is where you're only gonna have two epic equipments in your army so make sure this fireball is at least to level 21 right here because it gives you that extra damage and also the projectile damage which is insane but the tiles don't really change so this just makes it two earthquake on all those defenses so that will be done but if you're a person to spend money on the game you can easily take it to you know level 27 and then focus back on the king's gauntlet but you don't need the king's gauntlet to level 27 if you're doing this type of smash armies with the fireball so keep that in mind you're only gonna have two epic equipments so focus on the fireball to get it max this will help how your attack by far a lot more than the king's gauntlet that may be level 25 instead of 27 so hopefully you understood what i meant there because it's important you don't want to really invest that much ores look at the ores 600 of those purple ores just for an ability that you may not never use so this is what i mean like sometimes you need this guidance to see which one is worth your army but in general that's how the three equipments come up line by line you know right before each other and then we got of course the spiky ball now this is gonna be a bit different right because the spiky ball just got added to the game if you bought the spiky ball and you are free to play player a or even a player who doesn't spend that much on the game or even a player who spends that much in the game you may still not have the spiky ball to level 27 or even your other epic equipments to level 27 so there is literally zero point of you upgrading this ability leave it at level one you're never gonna use it in your strategy unless you're doing a creative attack you want to do a youtube video Video on a war you want to do some creative master series with carbo finn i don't know anything else but you're never gonna use the spiky ball because the other three equipments are necessity in some of the armies the spiky ball isn't the spiky ball is a flex because it's new because it's kind of like something that not even pros still know the kind of pathing of the spiky ball so it's a bit weird equipment that if you invest that amount of money and ores on it and you have other equipments low level like king's gauntlet or the frozen arrow or even the warden fireball it's gonna be tough and i know some of you may not never use the fireball in your armies that means you're either using the frozen arrow right on the queen and you're doing a queen charge kind of smash style army or a queen charge root rider or anything else so you don't need the warden equipment you can easily have the healing book and stuff but this means you have only two epic equipments in your army if you have the frozen arrow and the giant gauntlet upgraded then i would suggest you for your fun for your own just having a lot of flex and that you can upgrade the spiky ball but again because i put it on the fourth place i would still suggest you to upgrade this little fireball right here because it can give you even cleaner and easier attacks this spiky ball doesn't prove that like the spiky ball is not going to give you some insane amount of attacks okay sometimes it's going to go wrong but the fireball doesn't really do that so that's why in difference between the fireball and the spiky ball i would easily upgrade the fireball first and i upgraded the spiky ball of course because of youtube and of course all of you guys wanted to see the maxed version max gameplay and all that kind of stuff i always max the first equipments that come to the game so again make sure you stay tuned and watch that live with me so hopefully you guys understood what is your priority between the epic equipments i'm gonna do a video on the common equipments because it's important i know you guys are looking for it and i know you have no clue sometimes hold on which one is so much important in my army in the army you use so stay tuned for that video i will be bringing it probably tomorrow but let's see what happens but sometimes i get busy as you can see it's been a week that i'm uploading some of my legend attacks but you know of course i've been super busy and i will talk about that later on you know maybe in another video hopefully <laughs> but yeah just know that i was busy but i care about all of you guys and every single one of you that watch my videos thank you for supporting me all throughout these years and yeah i'll hopefully see you soon in the next video take care and peace